The Flash 2023 is one of the movies of all time. Welcome to the Hero Story Review. Very late. He's Hunter. Huh? I'm JD. That's Tyler. Let's fucking do it because it's been long overdue. You I like have a the question movie, to start. The been delayed. Yeah, I have a question to start for everyone here. How old were you guys when they announced this movie? <laughs> Wait, so this was, what year did they announce? It was 20, it was 20, 2014 that it was an, announced. I was 15 years old. I am now... I was, I'm about to be 24 in a few months. I was 16 <laughs> then. Yeah. I was 13 years old. Oh, you were a child. <laughs> history of the Flash didn't exist for another year until after this movie was announced. Because I started History of the Flash in 2015. I was I was a freshman or sophomore in high school. I remember like the Flash movie was announced, like when season one of the Flash was premiering. Yeah, it was like a great time to be a Flash fan. I was like, wow, this is gonna be the best. Ten fucking years later, here comes the movie. <laughs> yeah. and, I was in uh, eighth grade. Jesus, it's, it's crazy. Like like I posted like the young Barry and old Barry, and it was like me when Flash movie got announced. Me when Flash yeah, movie. yeah. And everyone in the comments was like kind of like telling their story of like you know I was in eighth grade now i have like a kid and i was like oh my <laughs> yeah. god like i was uh yeah. this is, we, we do inside jokes to this a lot but i i had a like tumor at the time i was like ready to die <laughs> and this movie was announced and it and like it was almost like i could live to yeah. see ezra miller as the flash and Young i remember flash. that's what kept um... that's what kept you alive the entire time <laughs> well, but now announced... i don't have anything <laughs> didn't they announce they announced everything at that time right like everything yeah the cyborg i remember well, it was, it was man, man of steel 2 just league 1 and 2 cyborg aquaman um, green lantern green yeah. lantern remember, remember wonder that? woman remember suicide Slate? squad yeah, yeah. I remember like the the quote from Ezra Miller at the time being like when they cast them as the Flash be <laughs> the quote was attributed to them and they said I got the call when I was in like the in the jungle in Argentina and the craziest <laughs> thing to me was I didn't even know they had cell service in Argentina it's like that was my introduction to Ezra Miller if only we <laughs> had known then what we know oh now, my God. literally, they could make a Flashpoint movie about that. They did we, something. We'd be we'd be Matthew McConaughey, like no, no, <laughs> exactly. Bang, no, 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 exactly. <laughs> they did something oh on God. the CW. I think Kevin Smith hosted it, where yep. Zack Snyder talked the da- about the dawn, the dawn of the Justice yeah. League, or something like yeah, that. Right? Yeah, it was right yeah, before yeah. BBS came out, but we uh, saw concept yeah. art for the Flash movie. Yeah. yeah, and Zack Snyder said he casted Ezra Miller as the Flash because he couldn't believe how funny he was. Yeah, which is uh, which is which is insane flash. that like th- that's the same reason james gunn was like yeah we want to keep ezra as the flash so funny like that's what not, am i missing that's not the flash is, oh. Oh, i i i yeah i it's been yeah so long so very long i remember sitting crisscross applesauce in front of the in the tv watching that special i was a little boy I was a child, <laughs> you know, as opposed to the man I am now. But I was you're now, you're now a, a grown kid. man. Exactly. I was a kid. I was a little boy. I was in high. I was would have been freshman year when that came out. And yeah, oh my god, freshman year high school. And I, yeah, I, I was a sophomore that. in high school. Now I'm I'm recording in my own apartment right now, like with my own <laughs> yeah. car and my own computer. Like insanity. Like uh, this yeah. movie took so fucking long to come out. It went through four different directors before they finally landed on Andy Machete. Yeah. Uh, somehow the Flash is like the only person who didn't get recast. Um, you got an extra mm-hmm. Henry Allen. You got an extra yep. uh, Nora. I believe they changed the actress for Nora once or twice. I think they oh, had yeah, somebody a few else times. She was tossed all over the place. I think yeah. She she never actually appeared in anything, but I think they had different <laughs> actresses. There were, the plot kept changing where it was going to be the rogues. It was going to be reverse Flash. Yeah. Cyborg was going to be a main point. character. Cyborg was going to be a main character in the Rick. Um, what's the name? Rick something with an F. Uh, f- f- I don't remember. He did dope. He did some he did episodes dope. of Mando. His version his, of it would have been cool. His mm-hmm. version was going to. His version was going to be with Cyborg. At one point, Grant Morrison and Ezra Miller worked on a script together. And that was going to be the Flash movie. Can you imagine how that. fucking confusing that would be? Grant yeah. Morrison and Ezra Miller writing the Flash. I can't even fucking imagine. I wonder how that would have been. <laughs> A trippy as fuck. I forgot all yeah, about that. Like, yeah. Remember that? That was one of the versions of the film. They, they went through so many different versions of this film. It's amazing that it actually came out. And this is the version we got. Remember there was times where... 
Jeffrey Dean Morgan was a lock as Thomas Wayne Flashpoint Batman. That yeah. never happened. And even uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan talked about it too. So Jeffrey Dean Morgan yeah. talked about it. Um, and it even felt like they had cast uh thomas and martha wayne on in purpose yes Spe- yeah exactly on purpose to do the flashpoint eventually mm-hmm. uh, so they're not God. throwaway actors they're they're in the opening yeah. of the scene they would probably pay quite a bit of money if, just if, for that if opening. you would have told me in 2015 that the flash movie is going to come out eight years from now and jeffrey dean morgan's not going to be in it but nicholas cage is going to be in it i'd be like <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think I if, if if you told someone at the beginning, let's say like right before Man of Steel came out, you gave him the entire slate and you said the biggest movie from this entire thing is going to be Aquaman. Would you, <laughs> would anybody believe that? Which features yeah. Oceans to Oceans by Pitbull. <laughs> yeah. The biggest, by the way, I'm pretty sure this is a fact, the largest movie in the history of Warner Brothers Studios. Correct. Warner Brothers, this, I think, hit correct. 100 years. This like, like maybe this year. <laughs> yeah, the biggest year. movie of all all time was 2018's aquaman oh oh wow you're right <laughs> isn't that, that ridiculous that's, that's that, so that, is a, that is a poverty company <laughs> yeah that company is in the dirt and it aquaman seems and like joker no one uh, cares for the sequel too <laughs> yeah exactly the, the sequel is probably gonna make negative a, money yeah, I'm, yeah they're gonna lose money on it yeah for sure god where so do we even Flash, start I don't, I don't even know where to begin okay what should we start at the beginning yeah, of I the mean, movie? The, all right, let's talk about the expectations going in because I tried to oh, say okay, that I'm keeping yeah. an open mind and you guys kind of gave me shit for that, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I did genuinely want to go into this with an open mind, even though, yes, I don't like Ezra Miller. I don't like this version of The Flash. I don't like the plot schemes that had come out, which tend, were pretty accurate, right? I remember when the plot leak of like <laughs> yeah, Supergirl and no Michael surprises. Keaton dying over and over, like that, like yeah. that actually happened. I was like, okay, I remember reading that on Reddit like a year ago. So mm-hmm. like, I, I tried to go in with an open mind, and I think throughout the movie, I kind of was just sitting there, like, in shock. I kept looking over to my friend who I saw it with, and there was a few times where we both went, like, oh, like, with, like, a, the, oh, the, the with like a shitty gun, yeah. line, like, the, the let's get nuts. I, we both, literally at the same time, didn't even look at each other, both of oh, us. so awkward. You saw yeah, it I, in an advanced screening, too. I you saw, saw, before I saw it on us. Monday, before the movie came out, on an IMAX early screening. I saw it on IMAX, too. Um, it, it was packed. And I got in there like right as it started. So like the first thing I see is the baby. And I was just like, I wasn't even in my seat yet. I was moving across the aisle as like that's happening. Oh, and I was just you, like, you miss <laughs> you basically miss five minutes, maybe? Well, I mean, like the, like I, I I was standing in the theater before I actually went to my seat. Oh, okay. See. So you saw it was like so the dark logo. in the theater and I can't fucking see a thing. <laughs> so I don't even know what row I'm in. And it's like, a gigantic yeah auditorium. The IMAX, right? The IMAX is like a giant screen, like you know, the yeah. ceiling to the floor. It's the greatest screen on the planet. I love it. It's great, but I couldn't fucking see without the lights. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. I um I this was the first movie. Let's see, first superhero movie since. Well, Guardians of the uh, Galaxy, Captain America, Captain America: The First Avenger that I haven't seen like the opening Thursday, I think. M- that might be true. Let me think. Oh no, no, Black Panther I didn't see because I was in Europe at the time. Um, I didn't want to not see. Um, Black technically, Panther you're opening. forgetting Venom and Venom Two. Yeah. Oh yeah. What the heck? True. Yeah. Marvel D, like, mar- like you know, um, mainline Marvius. Marvel DC, whatever. Yeah. Yes, that's <laughs> true actually, but. I had Morbius zero. Was part of the Tom Holland I, Spider-Verse, okay? I saw this on thir- on a, not Thursday, Friday. Like I woke up early. It was like at 12:30. Uh and there was there was people there, but I got to tell you, no one made a sound the entire movie. It was so unnerving. Which is so weird because my Unnerf- IMAX was obviously packed because it's the yeah. early screening. And it was fucking loud like people were laughing, and I swear to god as the credits went People stood and clapped. Oh. I looked around like, are they serious right now? I wanted to boo all of them. You know, <laughs> but that's what you get when, because you got nerds there. Like, you got, like, people well, that us. wanted to be fans. I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd. I, 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 I mean, I nerds, nerds like, you nerds recording who, a 200th. 40 you know something I mean episode nerds. about the flash movie. No, I, 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 I mean I nerds that. like, like people that want to show up dragons early. those fucking losers yeah. i get it no, but, but i when i went it was a <laughs> it was a friday morning it was like normal people and yeah, yeah. yeah. Did no one that had any anticipations about what this movie would be i mean i guess they would because it's you know, you're friday morning but still you have a stake in the film right like yeah you want it to be good see this film 
Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, people, there was, I was just, it was unnerving. It was eerie almost. Like, especially the last, I was going to say, again, I was going to say the last movie I saw in theaters was uh, Spider Verse. That's not true. The last movie I saw in theaters was Transformers. But going from Spider Verse opening night to the next morning flash, yeah. It, night and day first of all obviously and, in terms of quality but just yeah the audience reactions they wanted this to be infinity war they wanted this to be end game they wanted this to obviously be no way home where it just people won't stop cheering the entire movie and, and no one made a single class. noise i i heard people snoring <laughs> <laughs> it was well, an even I, smaller it was an even smaller gap for me because i saw spider verse like a week and a half late so I didn't, it was like only like a week in between me seeing Spider-Verse and Flash. Oof. So I had Spider-Verse fresh on the fucking brain going into the yeah. Flash. And I was like, Oof. wow, day and night. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. Complete differences. <laughs> yeah. Mine theater, I saw a Thursday night, so opening night, but no advanced screening. And it was also very silent. Uh, I remember when Nicolas Cage showed up, the guy next to me went like, is that Nicolas Cage? Why is he here? So <laughs> showing that, hey, look, your cameo was a weird reference that only people like us yeah. will get. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. The, the two guys to the right of me, like a seat over, uh, they would they were swapping turns uh, sleeping the entire movie. Like I would look over, I'd see one of them sleeping. <laughs> like firefighters and the and other, shift. Yeah, the other <laughs> awake. Yeah. And they, they, they would, like and watch. They, I, like, I'll, I'll yeah, stay I'm sure watch, after the movie, rest. he was like, so the, during this 20 minutes that you were asleep, this is what happened. And then he was like, well, the 20 minutes you were asleep, this is what happened. <laughs> they probably talked about it like that. Um, this movie was horrible. It was <laughs> it was so I just like, OK, we you had all that seen we it before like me, it too. Yeah, I, I can't believe I went on this podcast. I thought, I I dared thought Tyler to, was going to be the one be like, it was actually pretty good. I thought so I too. dared to say that, like, this might be a good movie. I feel so embarrassed. You go back and listen to those episodes where I'm like, guys, you know, maybe give it a chance. What was I thinking? I I like so going into this, you had all seen it already and you had all not liked it. And Harper and JD especially hated it. And I was just like, well, you know, they're Flash fans, so maybe there's some level of hyperbole or some level of bias that they would obviously have. And I went into it, and, like, I, I've been doing really well. I've been, like, happy in my life. I've been moving around with, like, a, a strut in my step, and I walked out of the movie <laughs> just so shaken to my core, just, like, depressed. I went home, and I just I stared at the ceiling, I was just like, this is what they're fucking doing in movies. Like, I just came out from the greatest movie ever, Spider-Verse. And now I got to see this piece of garbage. And they gave me You kept this. it. <laughs> the yeah. flash poster. They I'm gave me you this. Like, burn it. Burn it? Well, I do have a lighter. I should burn it on the podcast now. Maybe don't. Maybe don't. <laughs> no, no. already had some fire problems in that. <laughs> but, yeah, they gave me that. And it's so Tried embarrassing because I could have said no. I could have said, like, no, I don't want this. But I oh, did say they- yes. But yeah, it's well, that just, was before you saw it, right? Yeah, I just like yeah, I walked out of it and it felt like my life had changed. It felt like I was just like not the same person. I felt angry. I was sad. I felt betrayed. Yeah. So my my theater gave me uh the comic, which is the three issue prequel comic, the one the Flash the Fast Man. Alive. Oh, I thought that was just the back of an issue. No, yeah, this, I, this I is, thought this that is, was the back of an issue. It, too. It, it's with the movie cover and it's got like the logos. Look at this horrid fucking art on this series. <laughs> like yeah. you want to get people into comics from the movies oh my god they're, they're not even selling the flash this week they're i know they're already on the blue beetle, beetle. <laughs> last week possibly this? This reading is... this and being like wow i really I, um... want to read flash comics <laughs> yeah and, and can we talk about how i i, I work at target obviously <laughs> and oh, um <laughs> the um <laughs> Just look the, at me, guys. Can we talk about that? You know, and uh, the only two comic books that store sells are the Flash uh, prequel trade and yep. then the Batman '89 movie adaptation. Oh, and I refuse God. to believe that that's any form of coincidence or anything like that. That's them pushing this movie so hard that it hit me in my job. They affected me where I live, bro. Ew. But they're also like, um, they're they're starting to advertise this movie in spoilers now. DC Comics posted about they the, literally the posted Cage Nick Cage. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and it, that was less than a week since the movie came that, out. That screams desperation, though. Like the same thing they did for Shazam when they post like the Wonder Woman, like, Black well, like Adam. a week after the, after they, the they, release. They, it's or, all Superman, Black Adam, Superman yeah. and Black Adam. Like they've done this on the last three films. 
where they're like, fuck, we need to get the spoilers out there because people don't care about this movie. Mm-hmm. Is Nick Cage enough for anyone to go, wow, I wasn't going to see Flash, but Nick Cage did <laughs> it for 10 seconds as a CGI model. And now I have well, to People see aren't it. seeing it for Michael Keaton. Just yeah. So give up. Was, <laughs> was it me or was Keaton not good? He, was, Keaton, uh, the, he the, the, just the fight, had nothing to do. The fight scenes, I mean, I guess are all right. He's mostly just flying and blocking bolts seconds. like this. But yeah. I mean, he's literally like the first scene in the kitchen with him. I cringed the entire fucking oh, time. Oh, when the, the spaghetti music comes he looks, on. He looks like Alan Moore. Throwing throwing the shit. Yeah, movie. throwing the shit at at at. Barry's okay, two Barry's at, at yeah. the Barry who doesn't have speed and the Barry with speed is like watching it happen. Oh. It, it felt Prime like a Barry YouTube video from and shit Barry. Oh, Harper's Harper. calling me. Answer it. Let's I am. Harper. What do you Tell want? Live. We're recording live right now. Oh, no. I'll send you a voice message. No, uh, Harper, Harper, say, you're on say, camera. Say your quick, say your what, your first sentence that comes to mind about the Flash. Yeah, can can he hear us? He can't hear us, Hunter. Yeah, they can see you. Can he? Can he? Oh, you can't okay. hear you. Ask him what his first yeah, sentence that comes to mind about the Flash. The okay, Tyler, Tyler, Flash, Tyler and JD, they say, what is the first sentence that comes to your mind when you think of the Flash movie? I have an idea in the heart, but. Okay, <laughs> that's what you want to hear after seeing the Flash movie. Yeah. Did you yeah. like it? Uh, no, it was really, really bad. <laughs> I, I, really yeah, bad I can't believe we're at this point. I can't yeah, we, I kept looking for agree. the redeeming characteristics, and I couldn't fucking find that. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bye. I, like, okay. So the first five minutes of the movie, let's say the the part that I guess JD you missed. It's Barry waiting no, online no, so, for so a I, sandwich. So, so, I, so, <laughs> so I so I came in uh, to the theater. I was standing on what? the side of the theater. I, I walked into the. Th- no I pulled up. Late. I pulled up into the side of the theater, and I was like, I couldn't find my seat because it was so dark, and my friend was still waiting like for popcorn or some shit. So I'm in the side of the theater watching it like as it's starting. So I'm I'm going to my seat as the baby in the microwave is happening. So I'm standing in the side of the theater for the first few minutes, like not knowing where my seat is. Then my friend uh-huh. came up behind me. So my friend walked he up behind me. Why behind you? <laughs> <laughs> I can't see why he's late. <laughs> I um no, but like this first couple of minutes, right? Barry's online, and I was like, okay, there's like this feeling where it's like, can we hurry it up? You know, it's like he's tense, he's super fast, he's thinking so fast. I, I need, I need sand- like the subway sandwich. server gameplay underneath. By the way, I was already getting bored. <laughs> yeah, you were so distracted. <laughs> or you, you, yeah. But I, I, and I was like, okay, there's like something happening. Like I get like some sort of feeling. We have to move. Like we're moving at Barry's pace. You know, like we're trying to get. You know, he needs a sandwich, he needs to move, he needs to do all this. And then, yeah, the second they get to the hospital, I'm like, okay, this will be a cool idea for a scene. The There's a bunch of babies that the Flash has to save using super speed. He's hungry, he can't get the he can't get it because he hasn't eaten, and he's not moving as fast as he can. And then it just careens off the hill with that, you know, those babies CGI. It's and I usually don't even like care. Workers, like, just yeah, don't just use people. babies, just... People. Yeah, I don't know. And usually I don't even care about the CGI in movies, but my God. My, my first, <laughs> so my first, distracting. My, my first yeah. thought in this movie was Polar Express. Like the Polar yeah. Express CGI. Yeah. That, was, yes. that was my first fucking thought. Like that's what it looked like. The speed bubble, all the people around it looked like the Polar yeah, Express. The Scorpion thing. King. Like, yeah. yeah. Scorpion King. Like, like I CGI like, from like 1998. Yeah. This movie's and been in that, pre-production for like three years too. <laughs> from yeah, from that point on in the movie, I just kept trying to find anything that was at all interesting to me. You know, like throughout the entire thing, and it got it got to the point where Young Barry is so annoying that I'm like, yeah. it, maybe <laughs> Prime Barry wasn't so bad. You know, like you know what I mean? Yeah, it, the, the like, laugh. <sighs> yeah, and torture. what was it he kept saying? Things are blaze or blaze or blahs or well, whatever it was like the like the, that's so crash like they're just trying to yeah i know shway or whatever so, yeah. okay so oh god this pissed me off. all right ben affleck's <laughs> batman i hate the fucking suit in this movie it looked like oh, so weird. easily put together i thought he would yeah. have like armor on it would it, come it off and that's so like... fucking lazy lazily put together it looks like a bad cosplay but i liked ben affleck as bruce wayne in this movie i thought he yeah, had like, yeah. a few good scenes 
Wonder Woman, I mean, what was the point of Wonder Woman even being? Same exact scene as just the lasso of truth scene again. Yeah. Oh, God. She explains it again, too. Like, we know. Yeah, like, can you wake into the camera and be like, you should watch the joke. Yeah, I can't believe that the joke there was Barry going, I've never had sex. Yeah. I don't even know what sex is. But like but that was they established like, in even the first Wonder Woman on. movie that like you ask them questions and they answer. Why would he just say that? Open the like just start saying things. Yeah. You can yeah, be just, silent. This is truth, I guess. I don't know. Unless but you're no, asking, I, right. You have to ask them, like like in the comments yeah. when they ask them, like, what's your name? Clark Kent, yeah. you know, Diana Batman. Prince, Batman. Batman. Like you have to ask them a question, right? I, I you don't I, just yeah. start spilling like, secrets. They didn't say like Barry, do you know what sex is? <laughs> well, I have no idea. Yeah, I yeah I yeah. Oh God, yeah. I should have asked God. them what and our resume is. You know, this is the last time we'll ever see the the three of them together. I mean, ever ever. Oh and, like, no, who, no, yeah, that exactly. Trio. Remember, yeah, remember <laughs> when Endgame happened and Cap, Thor, and Iron Man fight Thanos, <laughs> and you're like, holy shit, this is the Trinity. This is what we're getting. We don't even get the Trinity in this movie because Superman's off there, you know, we fighting get, a volcano. We get two out of three and one of them admitting. They don't know what sex is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Superman's out there fighting a volcano because we can't. We cut Henry Cavill's scene, and yeah, I just what a pathetic way for this pathetic universe to die, you know. So, so why is Iris possibly into Barry in this movie? Barry is like the worst. Like there is no, yeah. there is no attraction. I think she there feels no... bad for him, and that's it. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's how I you thought... got a girlfriend, Hunter. So it makes sense. But like, <laughs> yeah, somehow. <laughs> I thought Prime Barry wasn't the worst thing. I think that Young Barry better. really, really dragged him down. Young okay. Barry's so bad. Okay, Why Prime. didn't you make it a different speedster? Why didn't you? You could have used Wally. Bart Allen yeah, right there, or, or Wally. You could have used either one of them, and it would have worked. Even Grant Guston Barry Allen. Yeah. <laughs> like, just oh, use it. Don't use two Ezra's. But, but yeah. So, like, so so one thing I did like is is and it's kind of jumping ahead, but. Like to think about things that I liked, like that stuck with me. The two speedsters kind of fighting side by side, even though we only saw it in limited action, was cool. So I don't I mind the, the yeah. two, I don't mind the, the two speedster the, the, action. The part where but why are feet, they both yeah. Ezra Miller? Sick. Yeah. And, and it was so noticeable, like you know, when it was like the body double, or you know, when it wasn't Ezra Miller. Deep you know faked, what I mean? yeah. Yeah, like the deep fake. Like it was so bad. Like why didn't you just use somebody else? Grant would have worked perfectly. You could have mm-hmm. used the Bart Allen. You could have used I don't. know. Teddy Sears Zoom, <laughs> so Jay Garrick. But yeah, but like he's Prime already in Barry this movie. did get better. Like at the end when he's trying to quickly yeah. trying to teach Young Barry what to do. I'm like, that especially compared to Justice League, good, uh, yeah. at least the Justice League. Like, like I he thought knows he was what he's doing. Yeah, he exactly. That was exactly it. Is now at some point in between movies, he learned how to fucking do this finally, right? Mm-hmm. And like, I thought the suit looked weird in weird. some cases where, and it where was, was his dick there yeah, was no yeah, dick I, yeah. it was just like a smooth plate i thought it looked fine in some places it, and it, really terrible in others it needs the yellow belt divider and it needs yes, the yellow it boots if it had both those things i think it would have been fine but it didn't have yeah. any divider it's just pure red it just runs you the dc red, yeah. what was that the dcu or whatever the 2014 like new yeah. 52 reboot soft boot you remember that? Oh, like DC, yeah, yeah. With yeah, like yeah. the DC orange eyes or something. Yeah, yeah. where it was like a yeah. really red suit. It kind of reminded yeah. me of that suit. Like, oh, it was just, it's, too much, it's too much one color going on. You need a little break in between. He yeah. has a little bit of the lightning on the forearm, but it really needs to be bigger and like wrap and, and the straight And the straight belt, like you did a thick The belt, yeah, belt, the belt was done. necessary, dude. Where yeah. was it? it was like, that's, that's why people keep talking about the, like, imagine Superman you know the undies or whatever but imagine he didn't have the belt and it was just straight blue like that's exactly right. it you know it would it be ugly like a, it's a onesie yeah it's, it's a onesie exactly yeah. um it's like it's like batman when he loses his belt like it just looks weird <laughs> what, yeah what, exactly. what is more of pure ear torture ezra miller at 18 years oh. old laughing what is dolphin laugh 18. or uh or, or aquafina and the little mermaid singing scuttlebutt which <laughs> might be I mean, you could you could torture soldiers with either I, one. I haven't like, I, seen it. Have you guys heard it? <laughs> no. Oh my god! It, when, when you get a chance, anyone listening to the podcast, pause it and look up "Scuttlebutt" by Aquafina. Wow, you know maybe that, don't. You, you know, you know the chick from uh, Shang Chi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we know who she is. Voice. She <laughs> I told you guys I had a song. dream about Aquafina. She she raps a song in The Little Mermaid, and 
part of the lyrics are you know the wah, wah, and it and it uh, <laughs> did you geez, see my little ears little? Were, were tortured so you must join me in this torture and listen did you to see it. little mermaid no i heard it on youtube all the comments were roasting the fuck out of Disney. It was, it was pretty funny, but it, it was like my, my dad left 18 years ago. He came back to turn off the shitty song. Like it was great. great <laughs> like that. But, but anyway, um, the, yeah. the Ezra Miller, Ezra 18 Miller, year old laugh. Uh, yeah. Why did it happen so many times? Hey, and I, and it's, it's one of those, it's again, one of those things where it's like, obviously the point of the character is to be annoying, but you've crossed the threshold where they're actually annoying. Where like I don't <laughs> actually want to see annoying. them on my screen. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's not like when, Peter when Parker snitches, Homecoming. When he snitches on other Barry, he goes, "Mom, what yeah. was this oh. called?" <laughs> yeah, I have a future self in the room. Yeah, like, there's another me. Or, or yeah. when the Kill mom him? comes to the door, is everything all right? We're fine. You hear two voices in there, and the mom's not like, "Well, that was strange." And they both yeah. say, "We." Yeah. Yeah. My son insane. must be Venom. <laughs> <laughs> Venom reference. But like you can I, make annoying characters have them likable. Like I think yes. they purposely we made. We do it every week on the podcast with Harper. Yeah, exactly. Like, we kind of yeah. make them likable. Yeah, we we he's developed. <laughs> he's, gonna, right? he's gonna be mad at that one. <laughs> <laughs> I think that Spider Man Homecoming they purposely made Peter Parker annoying as he's constantly like texting Happy and talking about Tony. But yeah, he's likable. But it's like endearing because he's yeah. like you know he's got also, a good heart and he's, he's also not the 15. Yeah. Like he's yeah, exactly. not. He's not eight, 18 year old Mister <laughs> Miller. Yeah. Like, um yeah and and going with that the humor in this movie like i never want to hear someone make fun of a marvel joke again oh because like it was some looney tunes shit like you know like this is scene where he gets struck by the lightning and his tooth falls out and i'm like oh okay that's weird his tooth fell out and then he, and the then glue, he glues he like glues this... it in i was like who is this for again there was you could there could have been crickets in the theater we w- i would have heard them because no one laughed at anything Maybe two jokes. I can think of two jokes that people laughed at, right? Clooney. There's the joke where um, they save Supergirl, and then the one random scientist is there, and Batman tries to scare him, and yeah, he doesn't, doesn't flinch. Get... Was I was like, deal. all right, that's kind of that funny. Got, that got a laugh from my theater. Yeah. And then the one at the end where it's <laughs> where it's George Clooney, and then Barry <laughs> says, who the fuck is this? That was, again, like the only other time I laughed the entire movie. That's And and as far as joke to seconds ratio goes, there's like probably three every goddamn like line. It, it, it's it was over, excruciating. It's very overdone. 18-year-old Ezra is like the worst character yeah. ever. Um, yeah. You brought up the scene where Keaton like scares the guy in Russia, uh, well, tries to scare the guy. Notice how Keaton... They save Supergirl, but he realizes it's not Superman and decides to just leave. He's, He's like, like I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. You're Batman. So... He didn't he didn't even make any sense to me how this universe multiverse chime travel works. Like, it's okay, it's not spaghetti, 89 Keaton, right? It's just another Keaton. It's just another Batman yes, that looks a lot like Burton's Michael Keaton. Gotham. Yeah, because point. like they 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 go out of their way for Michael Keaton to go. I bet you heard that in a in Avengers Endgame they said that time travel works like this. Well, actually, it's something really like way uh, more. Stupid, we've seen this same right? speech happen so many times in the yeah. past three years. I know years. every fucking TV show, every movie now is like this well, is how the multiverse like actually works. What do you think the best works. one is? What's the best ex- explanation? Probably Loki, because at least it's more than five seconds. Every movie they 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 spend at least. They they spend at minimum a minute, right? And mm. sometimes they 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 like try to get it out as fast as they can because they don't want us to think about it. Like in this movie, they use the spaghetti analogy, and I had no idea what the fuck he meant by that, right? Like I got sometimes it. it curves like this, but then other times it'll go like that, and it, then it'll change. Yeah, I, I got what? it. It was just it, saying it, like some are very similar, while some are completely different. <sighs> but I didn't so care. Dumb. He could have just traveled into the Keaton verse. Yeah. Correct. You know? I, I think the best explanation, well, my, my favorite's across the Spider Verse because it's like, it's so cool because it's all the Spider Man stuff. With the but the canon favorite, and stuff? Yeah. My favorite guess, explanation yeah, is, a, yeah, is actually CW Flash. Jay Garrick explains it with the teacup. Do you remember that scene? In the broken two? teacup. Yeah. yeah he like breaks good, the teacup. Analogy. He's like, you could break the timeline, but when you put the teacup back together, you always see the crack. You fix it, but there's always going to be the cracks. I yeah, do like okay, that. Yeah, yeah. That one that's, is cool. That's my favorite one. And that was yeah, like 2014 I, I, or something. Yeah, <laughs> that was when the I, multiverse I, was like a quaint thing in, in, in things DC. where we'd go like, oh, 
Oh, the multiverse in live action. That's an interesting concept as opposed yeah. to now where like it's everything. Wait, you know, we don't, we don't need this anymore, man. I'm trying to think like who's who's the most unlikable character in this movie. Like there's so many characters that are like Zod. <laughs> Zod was such a nothing burger in this movie. Oh well, yeah, Michael Zod Shannon had, well, yeah. even like, dead. Even Michael Shannon says that he... Every single right, like yeah, every but... single delivery is nothing. Like how much better does and I know you're not a man of steel guy, but how much better does man of steel look in comparison to this piece of shit? <laughs> yeah, at least back Zod at steel, had an like, arc. Like like Michael Shannon has so much more passion in Man of Steel. Zod yeah. has an arc. Like he actually has, you know, the mission here. I don't know. Like but that I, was exactly it. It was it, it did that. It made me somehow go back and be like, maybe the Snyderverse should have continued. <laughs> like at least at least there would have been a storyline that yeah, would have right. gone, you know, like the, a storyline that would have gone, you know, we would have been told a story at least. Batman as and opposed Lois to Lane. Batman and Lois Lane were gonna get married. And and she was gonna have Clark's baby and yes. yeah no maybe this Snyderverse needed to die yeah it just I I did you like I, I, for most annoying characters uh, Patty Spivet and Doctor Alchemy oh, oh yeah. what was God. the why'd you name him that <laughs> just Ru- Rudy Van Cuso that was Doctor Alchemy right vines, vines in 2015 <laughs> yeah annoying yeah. vines in 2015 somehow yeah. got this role they are the two worst characters right like they bully Barry in front of Iris and they then in the multiverse <laughs> version. In the multiverse version, they're his roommates that are also the worst. Were they supposed to yeah. be like junkies? Like I don't know. Like they were. I thought. I think the... they were implied that they were junkies. Like, like yeah. they were like they had the 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 roommate with the Back to the Future tattoo. Who would ever have a Back to the Future tattoo upside it's down? On upside their leg? down. Like, yeah. Yeah, there was one <sighs> part, kind of funny little thing there where the guy goes check, check out Marty McThigh, and then Barry's like, "That's not even your thigh. Like the, the tattoo's on his calf or something like that." That's uh, kind of funny. But but this is where but, this is where you talk about like the overkill of like three jokes a minute. How many times did they yeah. have to repeat Eric Schultz as Marty McFly until like, yeah, okay, we the, fucking the get it. very you first get time, because the was... very first time young Barry said it, I went, "Oh, it's a." universe where he plays uh marty right. mcfly instead right. of michael j fox <laughs> and then other barry just can't seem to wrap his head around such a, a concept yeah and i get it's because he doesn't want to accept that maybe the past changed because that doesn't make any sense to him or whatever right. but just and it was like I, as the audience changed, member like don't really, need they really that. Went to that joke mm. yeah i oh, oh god, god. It yeah, annoying. it's a shame that this movie has just made us go, oh God, when we think <laughs> yeah, about there's it. There's right? so many times where it's I go, it's very oh God. disappointing. Um, it has cool moments here and there, but you yeah, know what? Michael I, I, Keaton, it, Mike Keaton desperately needed a scene like in No Way Home where they just sit on the Statue of Liberty, wave for the villains, and they just chat. Michael yeah. Keaton never really had yeah, that. What is Michael Keaton going to talk about with two Ezra Millers? <laughs> there was, you know, one time I beat one... a guy named Jack Napier. He said I wouldn't hit a guy with glasses, but I hit him yeah. anyway. It, like, he turned out he killed my parents. So. Yeah, yeah. I, I talk about that, that at least. Like Barry's just like, oh, yeah. my mom's gonna die in the other universe. And then he yeah, he's that about, one like, scene, right? He's that, that one scene where he one, says, yeah, yeah. You know, my, that, that pain be- made me who I was or whatever. Right? That was fine. I thought there was one scene where it actually really did feel like Michael Keaton's Batman, where he um. He's stitching himself up in the mirror, oh, and then he kind of looks at it. He's like, "I'm a fucking badass, right?" Because but, he's but a again, fucking crazy person. Why not just make him fucking Keaton Batman instead of this yeah, random exactly. Alan Moore Batman? Yeah, exactly. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. There's there's so many moments where I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't fucking make sense. So like, so, uh, Arthur Curry is a dog in this universe. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Wonder Woman is like a stripper in Vegas. Is your wife the um, queen yeah. of Atlantis? Cyborg is still a football player. Yeah. Um, who else was there? Superman, Supergirl. Su- yeah, right. Superman the Supergirl switch. She was fine. Batman is Keaton. Okay, yeah, fine. Was, like, I didn't actually mind. Cool. I thought Supergirl progressively gets better as this movie goes on. They didn't but really give her much just, to work with. At she the just, same she, time. She was like the first person. She was like the only person in the movie that like had screen presence where i was just like i'm kind of interested in seeing what she has to do because she's gonna at least fight zod but you know she's gonna do something like exactly all she did was punch things she just (laughs) punches things punch things and die and then keaton dies and then let's redo it again and redo it again and redo it again it's like no wonder where this is going what was younger barry annoying the shit out of anybody else every time he kept coming to the ball he's like you coming with you coming with yes you can clearly see he's not coming with you (laughs) yeah and 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 like 
we have that dark flash right <laughs> who the first time he showed up i was <laughs> like oh interesting i guess he's like so I, I thought he was like some wraith that's haunting the speed force or some i don't know anything that could have been a little cool he's taking too many yeah. zod spikes yeah and yeah the second he gets that zod spike i was like oh it's oh it, it's him. Uh, it, it's yeah, just off, like, him, but yeah. like, and it, and it was, it was the second they even showed him the first time. I was like, it's probably Young Barry, but I hope this movie does something creative. And you're just like, oh, it's it's just Young Barry again. And and then it's when they erase him, like, like they wanted to be like this big revelation, like whoa, he was him the whole time, like yeah, as if yes. we didn't know. Yes, exactly. And then the he reveals his what was his plan? Why did he become evil? I don't even. It was he, like he they, they said, went like, over I, like that. It just says that he's been trying to save Keaton and he, he, keeps, for he years. keeps thinking that he could, he keeps thinking that he could change things because I have unlimited opportunities to keep trying, and, and that I'm gonna, like I need to knock I yeah, knock yeah. you into this. It's so fucking. Dumb. It just I don't think it like, does make any sense. I think they did explain did, it, did, but I don't think it still makes sense. I think like, the, the idea talk, isn't but, bad, but the execution's terrible. The, the time travel logic in this movie really makes no sense, but like. The bubble where the events happen around him with the Polar Express CGI, yeah. yeah, that is a terrible way to do time travel. Like something you I think kind so? Of, something I thought I that was like, like an interesting idea. Something that I, I like about the whatever uh, about the Flashpoint sphere. like comic or the Flashpoint animation, you know, uh, where where you time travel is that he doesn't fucking know he did it. You know what yeah. I mean? Like he wakes up and well, all yeah, of a sudden I'm on this other Earth. That's exactly it. Is it's the twist. The twist like, at the like end of Flashpoint comic, is that goes, Barry mom, did mom, it. Mom, mom, I'm the Flash, and she's like, uh, "Yeah, who is that?" And that was they, so they could have done what Miles Morales did. Yeah, <laughs> Miles Morales did Flashpoint better than Flash did because when he has that moment with Mom, on yeah. Spider-Man, who's Spider-Man? Yeah. who's Spider-Man, that's literally from Flashpoint. <laughs> yeah, and that's exactly it. It's like Flashpoint. The you know we give it a lot of shit now because it's not the only Flash story that exists. It's still you know, not a bad story though. Like, it's it's actually, not bad, like, exactly. It's got a lot of solid moments. And the animated movie is also pretty good. And, and and like the end, the twist at the end of it is that it was Barry, and that's interesting. You know, yes. I have to imagine that reading that month to month, you would have been like, "Holy shit, that's awesome!" You know, because you the whole book it's supposed to. You think it's Eobard. Right. You think Reverse it's Eobard. Flash finally yeah. reveals like it was I'm Barry. Not the you are. It's great. That's that's actually like awesome. Very good. Yeah, yeah. and in this movie, the twist is it, it was other Barry, but we it knew was... it the entire time. There's no twist. There's no tension. This yeah. movie desperately needed Eobard Thawne, you know? <laughs> it, it, Especially... I'm so surprised the that they didn't do it. I was really... Ex- the even after, though, credit scene, like, the after credit scene, I thought for sure it was going to be a streak. Yeah, like... We, we don't even know who killed his mom. <laughs> well, that's exactly it. Knife. Can we talk he about the dumbass up. logic about up this movie? so much. And I'm like, so just... two, I have I have a couple of comments on this, right? First of all, I don't just understand go. how in the modern day, so Barry's mom is killed by, I guess, Eobard Thawne, who just stabs her oh, with well, a the, kitchen the knife. The director did confirm after right? that, yes. Yeah. That oh, thank case. you. A kitchen knife, I guess, right? Sure. Even though reverse flash would probably... <laughs> and then yeah, the linchpin of it... The, I guess that's just a frame that dad, but... Yeah, the linchpin of it is that Barry's dad didn't look up on a security camera while he was getting a can of tomatoes. Oh, I know where you're and going for here. So, yeah, yep. a couple things. First of all, there's no witnesses at all in this. In this, there's no other cameras or witnesses that can go. He was wearing that outfit. He was clearly here. Or street right? cameras that saw him street walking. Cameras. Or street cameras that walk, saw him walking to the store. See, and hey, look, even... his, his truck's right there, and see, look, he the exactly. receipt, the receipt for the tomatoes. The... Exactly. Yeah. The change, and, the cashier who made the change. And even if he didn't do it, and, and the cameras prove it, when he gets home, Barry hears his mom scream and his dad's there with the knife. He still could have done it. He still could have actually killed her. Him being at the store doesn't actually doesn't prove, prove his anything. innocence at all because she doesn't get killed while he's at the store. That's, she gets killed the that. second he walks into the house. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! I didn't even <laughs> fucking think about that. Yeah, it doesn't. That doesn't make any sense. It's a giant plot. It doesn't prove anything. No, you see, oh, yeah, the, he was at as, the yeah. store. It's like, yeah, but he was home when <laughs> when she died. He was the yeah. only one with her when the knife was in her stomach, and he was holding her, looking up at you. Oh my god! <laughs> that is such a big scene. I can't believe I, never, I, I can't believe we never thought of that. That is a giant fucking. I just, I, I don't. Hole. 
I don't understand it. And then what? At the end of the movie, he changes it so that he what puts the can on the top shelf so his dad looks dumb. Um, so changing is changing the fate of the future, which is something he learned not to do. Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, I guess right. changing Doesn't the past is against... okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Am I the only one, by the I, way, that hated the scene with his mom where he has, like, his moment with his mom? I thought that was terrible. Felt nothing. Because, first of all, his face would have been dirty as hell. He used one, like, wipe. That's not going to get all that dirt <laughs> smock yeah. off. But it, why would his mom th- – like, my mom is a saint. She's a very sweet <laughs> woman. She, she would, would never not, do that to a random She would person. not hold some guy who looks like a fucking junkie wearing random clothes with tags on them yeah. who's, like, crying in the middle of a storm. My mom would not go up to him and be like, let me hold your face, sweet boy. No, it's a yeah. me, and I look like that. What are you <laughs> I think right, she I recognized. Adam Miller did the best, you know, Hunter cosplay out there, but I think it was she like, recognized. Like, I thought her that son. was such a weird scene. You literally yeah. could have done the scene said it, from Flashpoint with his mom, where he says, "Like, I have to go change the past. This is all I'm going to have with you." Where his mom convinced him, right? Like, like in the scene in the comic, he tells his mom, "Like, yeah. I'm going to find another way," and his mom says, "No, you have to let me die." And he says, I can't, I don't want to. And he says, and she says, I'll be okay. I'll be with your father. That is infinitely fucking better. And instead you went with this weird, like, let me hold your face. You seem like a sweet boy. Tell your mother you love her. It was cringy. Yeah. I hated it. Yeah. I, and that's exactly it is like this movie. The That was what I, what I guess I was looking forward to the most. That's why I think that James Gunn was like, it's the greatest movie ever because there's there's some attempt yeah, at some like emotional. It's, flat, it's, it, it's watered down Flashpoint. It's watered right? down Flashpoint. Yeah, exactly, and and it was it would have been so easy, uh, you know, to give this movie some level of heart where you you know that tragedy that is such a profound thing that Barry has to let his mom die to be a superhero. It, it's it's that you know that is something that's that's so interesting and that's been so cool since they gave that to Barry as a character, right? And right. and the fact that they took that and they just squandered it is it blows my mind that these are set, people that it was that, literally set up it was yeah. literally set up that he has to undo it yeah exactly that could have yeah i just don't know how they the, let the that thing about the not butterfly be good. the butterfly effect is literally like right if you if you mess with one little thing in the past yeah. it changes everything technically by barry still putting the can of tomatoes into the cart and taking the cart out and interacting with his mom again you change yeah. the past you well, I guess he did though. He, but he did though because George Clooney shows up. Oh god, I hate George oh, Clooney. I guess, like, yeah, why right, yeah. the fuck did that happen? I don't <laughs> know. Well, the original ending was Keaton and Supergirl appear. This three endings, right? Apparently, yeah, allegedly. That was, that was the first one. The second one was do you Keaton the Super. One? It was Keaton, Supergirl, Wonder Woman, and Superman. Right, that was the second one. So, like, that was New Justice. Yeah, Henry. They filmed that yep. scene. That's they that was the it. scene. That was the other scene they filmed when he filmed Black Adam. What the fuck? I hate Warner Brothers. Yeah, yeah and you could have kept that. See, but, you yeah, went with exactly, George fucking Clooney. That was a James Gunn idea. And yep. listen, I love James Gunn. Why would you do that? I, it was, yeah. I guess, again, I guess that was like you know one of the funniest jokes of the movie. But I think he was us. just doing that. Be like, yeah, no, this Flash is in a different universe. We never yeah. see him. I think he, yeah, I think he just went fuck it. Is that we get Ezra movie. Miller out of the? De- <sighs> yeah, yeah, it's just saying like, yeah, they're not setting anything up. Just he's over here. Uh, we're not gonna see yeah. Clooney again, and we're not gonna see Ezra again. So that's why and, they're yeah, together. Yeah, because t- yeah, taking Keaton out, taking Cavill out, taking uh, Sasha Kai, it, it just it, it it makes it so that they have no expect we have no expectations that we'll see these people. And again. casual audience don't be like, oh, I can't wait to see that movie. Yeah, and I get it, but this this was not the move. This was not the ending. George have him go on a date with Iris or something. Any you know anything? You know, have him just be back in the regular DC EU. That's gonna end anyways yeah, and say have goodbye have that to beer it. with bruce wayne that you set up at the beginning of the movie where he's like want to grab a beer together and bruce says another time that's your ending have them like reconnect but no yeah. Clooney, because it's is this yeah and then end credit scene with uh, aquaman to show that i guess I aquaman, jason momoa is gonna be they made sure I to say it. that aquaman is the same in every universe or something he's just like you're pretty much the same in just about every universe so I guess that opens but it, the but door one, for Jason I, I honestly Momoa thought they were going to be like in one universe, your Lobo. I don't know why I thought this was going to be like a, <laughs> I swear to God, I thought this was going to be a Lobo line. tease at first. I was like, is that what he's trying to say here? Like, you're almost the same in every universe. I was like, is he going to be Lobo in the new universe? Is that what they're leading to? And then I it was think just him it's just saying that he's drunk Aquaman. In a puddle. Yeah. 
him being drunk in a puddle is the dumbest fucking thing. You literally could have done like. I can't believe we waited the... for that. Can you imagine the end credit scene? You, it, it literally could have just been like, like the knife, like, like right before Barry's dad gets in with the tomatoes, like the POV from the driveway. All you see is like the yellow streak, like go through the house, and then you yeah. see like the vibrating hand with the knife, and then it speeds off. That <laughs> literally fucking could have been it. Like, hey, that's your reverse flash tease. It doesn't. You don't even need an actor. You don't even need like a body. Yeah. You just need the vibrating fucking like yellow streak. Yeah. But no, Clooney. But no, we got we got Jason Momoa drowning in alcohol. Before I forget, well, uh, 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 Harper sent some. Should we listen to oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's listen to the Harper tapes. Yeah, he sent me three. One, one's a minute. The others are short. So let's see what Harper says. Oh, Harper's not on the podcast because he's in Australia. So <laughs> I know, I know. Maybe I've oversold how bad the baby in the microwave and the baby's yeah. being sprayed with acid and, and and the flash saving the babies is, but like. Like, like, did that not set the, the tone for the entire movie? Like, that is the dumbest scene I've ever seen. And then the movie just doubles down on being the dumbest thing you've ever seen. It's just like, it's like a fan fiction, like, Wattpad version of of, of <laughs> Man of Steel <laughs> and Flash Boy yeah. Bell together. It's so stupid. Why is the entire movie this CGI abomination with Ezra Miller in the middle going... Yeah, that's that's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, Batman versus Superman, greatest movie ever made. Uh, Last Jedi sucks. Suck it, Tyler. One of us. He has more. I'm just gonna play the next one. Also, why why did Warner Brothers have a CGI version of Teddy Sears as Jay Garrick? Mm. We didn't even talk about that. Didn't even play. He played. Under Zolomon pretending to be Jay Garrick. And also, why did they not tell Teddy Sears, hey, we're using your likeness? Because he didn't even know about it. He's like saying on social media, uh, yeah, that looks like me, but like they never contacted me. What? I didn't so, even realize it was him, by the way. Like it took until I, like. I thought that was my first thought. <laughs> I didn't no, realize I think, it was him. I just thought it was I a think random guy. What it Jay is. I think what it is is um, because if you look at it, it also kind of looks like John Wesley's ship. I think they literally put it in an AI and they typed in Jay Garrick. And because those are the guys that have played Jay Garrick on screen, that's what a robot created. Yeah. Someone that just looks like the two of them. No one working on the movie knew, I guess. Uh, Last one real quick. You can do do CGI George Reeves. You can do CGI Christopher Reed. You can do... The worst CGI Nicholas Cage in history, but you can't have Grant Gustin be there in you know the suit that he has for even a second, even a fraction of a second. Like really, uh, that's Harper's messages. I guess we should talk about the cameos real quick. And there he is. Uh, yeah, no one in my theaters made any noise at all. Yeah, so Nicholas Cage got a clap for me. No one reacted Fucking to Reeves. As fuck. to, to, people reacted to Christopher Reeves, not not George Reeves. Um, I didn't even get what I was looking at. Do you guys it, know the story with George Reeves? Yeah. Yes. How bad this? You want you want, you want to tell it, Hunter? <laughs> I guess for the listeners that don't know, in a nutshell, George Reeves played Superman in the 1950s in a TV yep. show, and yep. it ruined his life because no one would cast him in anything after that because everyone just saw him as Superman. He couldn't get any work at all, and he ended up taking his life because Superman ruined it. Yeah. And here they are CGIing him. And he and also he didn't have kids, as far as I know. And no next of kin to like receive the money for him n- being in a movie. Yeah, or no even family okay to even it. say it's okay. Yeah, or yeah. even so prove who it. knows who approved this? But uh, um, I think yeah. as well. Yep, it, is this movie came out on the anniversary of his of, death? Yeah, it did of his suicide. Yeah, of his suicide. Yeah, I, I uh, because of Superman. What a, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I just like, how long does he fight? Does Nicolas Cage fight that spider? A minute yes. of precious, a precious screen time in a movie where I'm just like, why are we watching a different movie right now? A movie that never came out. You know, a movie Correct. that yeah. let's be real, no one gives a single fuck about. Well, it's we Warner keep, Brothers. We haven't like... stopped hearing about it for thirty fucking years. Right, the death They've of Superman talk- lives. 
I but don't Warner care. Brothers just like, hey, look, guys, look, don't you recognize this movie that Spider we canceled? That documentary? That it was we too made much. Sure would never happen. <laughs> it was enough when they made Christopher, not Christopher Reeve, uh, sorry, a Nicolas Cage Superman in Teen Titans Go. That was enough. Where I was like, right. oh, they're referencing themselves and he's Superman finally, right? Yeah. Right. In a spoof, How many times are they going to suck their own dicks? Correct. You know, I just, Correct. I don't, Correct. I don't get it. Adam West is there, well, you know, in a weird way. And oh, God, it's not pleasurable, I, though, because they're just like, hey, look, we, we, we made sure this movie never happened. Look at it. Look. We made sure yeah. you'll never see this. But but even even like the the Adam West like uh, he says something like uh, something old chum and he won't get away with this joke. Yeah, it's or, just like, like a clip or whatever. Like, yeah. yeah, it sounded wrong. It sounded like it was fan made. It it sounded like you yeah. know like and someone, then someone edited together on like iMovie. Christopher <laughs> Reeve and what Helen Slater, yeah, Super girl from that movie that again nobody cares about or that saw. didn't actually connect to the Christopher Reeve Superman movies. Like they never yeah. appeared together. Mm-hmm. I think that like. What a disgrace. Yeah. What a just it's what a monstrosity. Gross. It's just but who is it for? And also they, like, they put so much lighting on these portals open up that the characters they their faces look so smooth and green and well and if you're gonna do like other characters, why didn't you do like like 90s John Wesley Ship and 2010s yeah. Grant Costin? Like, yeah, like why if you're gonna do other portals, why is it all Superman and Batman? Why wasn't it the flash? Yeah, why, I thought it was going to be flashes of other worlds. Yeah, like, yeah, running around. yeah exactly. Because they showed like, the Jay small, Garrick. The small what was that? Flash. You could have done. You could have done real Jay Garrick. You could have done. You know, John Wesley Ship is Barry Allen. Grant Gustin is Barry Allen. You could have done like every version of Barry Allen who's appeared. Then you could have done like the animated version, like Michael Rosenbaum's. You know, and Justice League One sick, runs through, yeah. and, and oh. that would have been cooler than than that would have been no way home. Dug up Christopher if, Reeves dude, and Nicholas Imagine Cage. how sick that would have been. Barry, Just a different flashes, Barry, Barry, yeah, and Barry, animated ones. Yeah. John Wesley Ship and Grant Gustin, Grant Gustin and, Ezra and, Miller and Ezra Miller fight running that dark side flash. by side by Even side. Even for five seconds, that's your money right. shot. That would have made they run me side cheer. by side by side and throw the one punch. Like I would yeah. cheer. The I would have cheered. Ma- that. They, they literally could have been like, "This is the infinite mass punch." Boom. Yeah, and they showed us Nicolas Cage, <laughs> Superman, Nicolas Cage fighting a spider for a minute. <laughs> They're oh, just showing God. Superman. I'm pretty sure like, that spider this, remember this, in remember that this? script is supposed to be Brainiac merged yes. with Lex Luthor. Yes. yes. That's a fun fact. That movie would have never and been the director good. Of, the director who was supposed to do it really loved the idea of a spider being the villain. And yeah. whatever movie that he ended up making instead of Superman Lives, he used a big spider. It was, as the um, it was what's it called? It was the producer, John Peters. He, yeah, the when, producer he made, when he made... um. Kevin Smith wrote that movie, right? And yes. when he made Kevin Smith write that movie, he, he had three rules that were get him out of the red and blue costume. He can't fly in this movie. That was a rule. <laughs> and he has to fight a giant spider. And he has to fight a giant spider. <laughs> and so and that's what and, we're um... like, give, that's what we now have nostalgia for, apparently. That's what they want us to cheer for, is that. Oh, that's why and... Kevin Smith loves us so much. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and if I was Kevin Smith, I'd be geeking because they made the movie that I was never allowed to make. You know, like you know what I mean. Like, sure, yeah. be excited. I guess that's cool for him. But like, again, well, the, the the funny it, thing, it, the funny thing about that fucking spider, like the spider Superman with the three rules. You know who the, they didn't yeah. even want Nicolas Cage for that. They wanted Sean Penn. That producer wanted yeah. Sean Penn, fucking oh, Spagoli, yeah. cast <laughs> as Superman. <laughs> huh. Yeah. What a weird I, I just, movie. Yeah, what a what a just a. Uh, I think talking about it now makes me dislike it even more. I gave it two stars on Letterboxd. I keep trying to think about things like. that I like, and I'm really struggling to come up with things. It it honestly feels like this is a vent session because I, there's so much about this it's movie just, that I don't like. And where yeah. do you fucking go from here? All right, I, I don't I guess, reboot. <laughs> right, yeah, I mean reboot. reboot. But I'm saying, like, if you had to continue like Ezra's Barry here, like, I mean, I guess okay, Ezra's Barry's more mature now, right? So yeah, you do the stories of like. Barry is the more mature hero, but what is the future? Because I really don't and, see one. And, and that's even exactly tease it. another fucking villain. Yeah, because it's over. It's so How easy over. would it have been, like, at the end, like, you have the rogues, like, knocking over, like, an end credit scene of the rogues, like, knocking over some fucking bank in Central City. And the this... Flash runs up, and, like, I don't know, he gives some stupid, yeah. witty fucking line about, like, yeah. a guy in a cold suit robbing a bank, you know? Mm-hmm. I was going to say Captain Boomerang exists, but he died, I guess, or whatever. But, yeah. Um, my, my one hope that, is that Harper the reference. Flash as a character, as a mythos, is just doesn't die movies. because of this? I hope he doesn't get Green Lantern. 
<laughs> I think it's possible though. Like I, I got, I was talking to Drew about this. Is this movie worse than Green Lantern? Yeah, like, it, like, I don't know. Like, I haven't like, seen like, Green Lantern in, in the sense, forever. In the sense that Green Lantern 2011 poisoned the well, where like if you even mention the name Green Lantern, like as a comic fan, like after 2011, people automatically thought of the movie. They're like, ugh. Green, you like Green Lantern? Yeah. Like that movie fucking sucks. Yeah. You're like, well, I, I like the Jeff Johns run, like <laughs> yeah, Robert McKinney. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that the Flash has a fan base. Well, I don't course, even know yeah. because this is a, this might be the biggest bomb in the history of Warner Brothers, right? Like literally, it's yeah, losing so know. much money. Yeah. How much money do they spend on this? Apparently, did you read the article came out today that said that Warner Brothers combined on. What are the four movies that came out this year? Shazam, The Flash, Aquaman, and Blue Beetle have spent a billion dollars. Aquaman's and they're budget. gonna they'd be Aquaman's. lucky to make back half of that. You yeah, know, I don't and, have, and by I, half I of that, I mean, they would lose half. Harder. Yeah, because and, and and it's like, um, this, I the James Gunn plans right. They kick in in 2025, and it might get delayed, which would honestly be good because I think people need a break from DC. I think the brand is so damaged at this point that there's there's nothing they could put out right now that isn't Batman that people would go see. Oh, yeah, yeah right? I was going to say the I, Batman I friend, too. Yeah, <laughs> I, I told a friend of mine that I saw The Flash, and he was like, oh, what'd you think of it? And I said, uh, oh, I really didn't like it. And he goes, oh, what's a DC movie? What do you expect? And yeah. that's the general fucking perception. Yeah, that uh, that it's a DC movie, so it's and that's probably gonna and it's fair. Suck. It's true, yeah, and, and, it's, and it's fair. Earned. It's earned. Yeah, exactly. And and it's so appalling. Yeah, like when James Gunn takes over, and he's I do think he's he's probably making a mistake by not fully rebooting this. As much as I like, do want to see Peacemaker again and see uh, Marco as Harley again and all that. It's probably a mistake to not just literally start fresh. Because people don't want to see this stuff anymore. I don't know if if he can save it. I don't know if it's savable at this point. I don't know if people want to see these things anymore. I, got, I if Superman has years, to be but, yeah. so good. Superman, the weight on that movie's shoulders are unbelievable. That movie has to change <laughs> everything. That that movie has to be like the Spider-Verse of um, of D- of DC movies, it has to yeah. be the best DC movie they ever make. Then, this is like because he's been the hype man so far. Like he's been really trying to hype up his universe, but he's like saying the Flash is one of the greatest superhero yeah. movies ever made. And guess what? The director doing the Flash, which is coming out soon, is right. going to be doing our Batman, Batman movie. Yeah, but and I don't Flash even really blame him. This. <laughs> I don't even really. I feel like we can't blame Andy Machete. I think he. Pr- because because like there's no there's no it, way to take over a movie good. that's been abandoned by three other directors yeah exactly and try to make yeah. something of it yeah and then but i think Warner Brothers is really... telling you you have to do this yeah. right whatever you, watch, you had about the dcu you Arnold watch Drake. interviews with him and shit and i think he really only wanted to do it because he was going to hang out with michael keaton and batman you know like you see stuff like that if he gets to start a movie from scratch that's all his and it's a batman movie you know i have faith in that sure because i like it Granted, I think that the, the time travel bubble thing, and I guess you guys thought it was a cool concept, it just didn't look good. But that felt very it chapter two. Like yeah. I thought that's like which yeah. is another Andy Machete. So I think yeah. that was a lot of machete there. Like the it's cool to have the, yeah. and the weird CGI. Especially around. Yeah, and the weird and like you know, the little tiny, tiny, tiny horror elements with right. evil flash or whatever. Stuff like right. that's interesting. And I I do want to see what he does with you know Talia and Raish and 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 Damien right. and Batman. That sounds right. cool, you know. <laughs> yeah, probably <laughs> it's a DC movie. They could do whatever they want. I mean, we saw Wonder Woman nineteen eighty four. Um, okay, but yeah, I, I I just I don't know. So I so hope I that just, they can save I, it. I was literally just looking at my letterbox day, and I'm like, I hadn't added this to the DC EU list, and I'm like, oh god, where do I rank this in the DC EU list? <laughs> I'm gonna look at mine. Yeah, I think I have. I think I still have four movies below the Flash, based on star rating alone. I have four movies that are rated below the Flash. The Flash has good moments, at least. So the four, the four that I have (laughs) below, the four that I have below the Flash on my DCU list are Wonder Woman 1984. Yeah, same. uh, Birds of Prey. Same. Suicide Squad and Justice League. Those are the only four that I have below. So you like Black Adam more? I like Black. Adam. I have it above. I like. Oh God. Well, you don't like Black Adam, but like you would prefer it than. 
than this. Do you think that Ellen he was onto you. something then? If you look at the box office trends, that was the only movie to have like any number a of positive. make yeah make money on its opening weekend Compa- at compared all. Compared to every other DCU movie that's come out, yeah, that Black Adam would be considered a success. But I also feel like Black Adam being as bad as it was is a lot of the reason now that we don't care. Like, it, 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 if that movie was the movie, good, that, the movie that broke us, it could have been because it kind of broke DC in a sense where, like, Cavill coming back. If Cap, you know, it would have been so much easier. So such an easier world to live in if they didn't have that post credit scene. If we never expected Cavill to come back, I think that that PR for them, that yeah. horrible PR they had of Cavill's back. Oh wait a second, no, he's not. That is what broke people. Because like you, you told us that we were gonna get this, and then oh, it turns out we're not gonna get this. Why should I care about anything you guys make right now? You know, I think that that's kind of what's broken this. Yeah, it's not destroyed. to say it wasn't broken. I mean, it's been broken since Man of Steel. It's mm-hmm. it, it's been and and they had ways to fix it. Batman v Superman sucks. I hate it. But there were ways to fix it. Justice League. You could have come out of that. Like after Aquaman made a billion dollars, why not just make a ju- another Justice League movie? You and and know? say what you why will about do all say this what you, shit. like per- personally, I don't really <laughs> care for either movie. But twenty twenty one, your releases were the Snyder Cut and Suicide yep. Squad, the, the Suicide Squad, yeah. which were two positively received DC movies. Like yep. you could have said those two were your track to successful DC movies, but then after that, you just completely go downhill. Yeah and, yeah, and I think the way that James Gunn put it at one point where he said that they were the studio was just giving IP to people. Like so what he means by that is like they were just they just gave The Rock a movie to make and they just gave yada yada a movie to make right. because these people were like I want to do this and there was no like forward momentum. You know the plan under Walter Hamada apparently was for this to all lead to uh, a crisis on Infinite Earths movie, right? And the and allegedly the original post credit scene for this movie was going to be that Cavill, Superman, and Affleck's Batman were like stuck in the multiverse, and Barry had to find them. And I guess that that's kind of interesting. <laughs> yeah, that is cool. But I feel like if we had gotten that, they would have never made that movie. You right. know, like they yeah. they would have never made any of this shit because there was no one in charge that really cared. And James Gunn has come along, and unfortunately, he he has the burden of caring about these characters, you know. And I I don't know if that's enough now because Blue Beetle's not going to make a dollar at the box office at all. It'd be lucky to make a cent. Yeah. Right? Every time I see every time I see the trailer, I'm just like, I don't want to watch. This. Yeah, this looks terrible. Nothing. Yeah, I feel nothing. I yeah. don't want to watch. That is a fascist. Blue Beetle. I don't want to watch Aquaman. Watch Aqu- I don't want to see Aquaman either. Uh, well, the way I feel about Aquaman. <laughs> And I like Aquaman, the first Aquaman. The way I feel about Aquaman 2 is how I felt about Morbius. I have zero fucking percent interest in watching this. Zero. Yeah. Maybe yeah. the trailer comes out, you'll, you'll be a little interested. going to take nah. a lot to drag me away <laughs> from you. So you love that part. But Black <laughs> Man is the villain. <laughs> it, it really does say something about DC. They're so stuck in a rut that like the Batman, which is the 19,000th the 19 millionth Batman reboot in the past five years was the best DC movie to come out. And the, and the one that people liked the most. And it was it's, great. It was so good. But it's another Batman movie. Like, yeah. Shazam 2 was boring. And we're asking people a lot to care about two Shaz- different Batman Shazam and 2? shit like that. I don't know. Shazam 2 has been on HBO Max for like two months. I have not yeah. even, I have HBO Max. Or Max, whatever the fuck you want to call it now. I have not had the fucking will to watch it. And you I've had times where I'm will? literally scrolling on HBO Max and I'm like, need to find a movie to watch. Like, I need something to fucking turn on. <laughs> and I still don't turn it on. Are you ever mm-hmm. going to? I guess eventually I'll be bored, but I can't. It, this, it's just it. this, this poor universe and these poor characters. The Flash, for me, I know I keep saying I hate him, and I kind of do. <laughs> but I see the potential there. I see why people like this character, and I understand that, guy. like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, he moves really fast, and that's kind of fun. Yeah. Oh my fun. god! Oh god! This, There's more. The, the scene where he runs in the circle when he thinks he has his powers, and he's just oh, running get in the it. circle get in the police it. station. Oh. I every single time, 
<laughs> every single time Ezra oh. runs in this movie, I, <laughs> I just broke everything. Hate it. I got so because mad. Why? Who possibly runs with like the starting position where it's like on like your tiptoes, like bent over? That's not yeah. how runners run. If you would have talked to one person who runs professionally or even runs amateurly, I fucking <laughs> run like four times a week. That is not how you run. That's how you start, you idiot. No, that's not, that's how, you not how you start. And and I hate like <laughs> and this is my problem with CW Flash when it looks like you're jogging in place. Just run on a fucking treadmill. treadmill. Yeah. Because, oh, God, it makes it look so much more real if you're actually fucking running. Oh, God, right off the bat when he starts to run and the camera goes around like the GIF. (laughs) Yeah. JD, what do you think knowing, how do you feel knowing that your history of the Flash, you love the Flash, but uh, Eternals had better spe- uh, speed than the, than the Flash movie. I literally, literally when oh Eternals yeah, she was out, she was I, cool in Eternals. Literally when Eternals came it out, I cool. posted a picture of whatever the fuck her name was in Eternals McCarty. and Ezra Miller, and I said the best yeah. speedster in live action, and some dude with a lightning bolt on his chest. Yeah, so I admitted I, I, I admitted that that uh, speed Eternals looks awesome. <laughs> yeah, that was so sick. So I don't oh, Eternals God. dog shit too, but. Yeah, it's not a good movie, but like it's they, they got the powers down like, very much. So, fucking, oh my god! But yeah, uh, god, the, the, I, I forgot about that. The running, the running in the circle. How the fuck did they get out of the police station? They never even explained it. Oh yeah, weren't they? Didn't yeah? Did, what? Because didn't didn't <laughs> other didn't younger Barry not have his speed yet? He was getting it, but he didn't know how to use it because then we had to get. Also, the, the, what's up with the weird Ezra Miller lines? Like, more like a drug, yeah, and knock you out, and you'll never yeah. remember it. That was improv, yeah. <laughs> that was just a like, read the fucking room naked oh. Ezra Miller oh, yeah running through the streets yeah yeah, yeah. like like when 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 young Barry Rest. runs in like gets the car crash that like kills like 10 people yeah, yeah. 10 You're the where's your fucking responsibility and oh god I I hate I think I hate this movie <laughs> what about the scene okay here's one good scene the one where see, we see. say that the flash was in metropolis during man of steel okay yeah i do like that like the events of man of steel had bruce wayne and now barry allen and i guess martian manhunter too we're all there <laughs> like, <laughs> martian manhunter watching earth die yeah what are you gonna do yeah. i'll just yeah, stay yeah. here but like it's like this i do like how the dcu has like this big event that started Canada. it all and there yeah. were so many heroes there at the time yeah that was kind of cool. It's a cool idea, but this universe, I just like it. It's been fucked. This universe has been fucked since then. They had that one event, and that's why they keep going back to it because it's the one event that people know. Yeah, right. They're not gonna be like, yeah. When I first got my speed powers, I was there when Batman and Superman fought on the abandoned rooftop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I can't wait for the next Superman movie because at least we're gonna get like a DC movie that maybe fun. will be good. Final ratings. That's not Batman. Mr. Hunter. Yeah, okay. When I first final saw thoughts, it, final ratings. When I first saw it, I gave it a four. But after talking to you guys, I think it's more of a two. <laughs> that's like Hunter. honest. That's honestly what I think. Like to kind of perspective. And you, love, like, and you literally love everything. I love everything. Yeah. I gave Across the Spider Verse a ten. But we, we all did. Uh, well, yeah, JD, you weren't on that episode. Wait, real quick. I, I I gave like an eight five. I thought it was very good. Okay, yeah. Nice. But I'm curious to see how the third one plays out. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, I maybe three. I didn't. I didn't think that a Flash movie could disappoint me because I didn't think I cared <laughs> about care. the Flash. Yeah. Exactly. I, I went into and this and are. I was like, if it's bad, it won't matter to me because I don't really. Ca- yeah, I don't yeah. care about the Flash. Yeah. And That's me with Iron Man. Yeah. It just it sucked the life out of me, man. Like I just felt sad. I just felt sad about things in my life. I felt sad about the world. It was raining when I came out of the theater. So it was just like a depressing day. And <laughs> you have like a Tom Holland's face after Aunt May dies and he like watches yeah. the news <laughs> in yeah, the rain. Exactly. Yeah, I'm reading the articles about how this movie sucks. But yeah, I, I just I, I yeah, maybe four. I think four is pretty pretty accurate. Maybe three. I I just can't believe that this is the finished product. Yeah, after this, because I know it's been in like development for like ten years, but it was filmed, I think, like late twenty nineteen or something like that. I think it was twenty twenty one. Like, but like they've had because they've had more people like, a few years to yeah. Fix people this point up. out that like uh, Warner Brothers had the opportunity to 
when that video came out of Ezra Miller choking that woman, they had not filmed this movie. They could yeah. have done anything. You want to go, bro? Just me and, and the, you? The, the fact they haven't... Warner Brothers has not at all come out to say that what we Ezra Miller did what Ezra was Miller bad. Did. Yeah, ex- not once. Yeah, not in the bad. slightest. There was a tweet that got like a couple hundred thousand likes oh, yeah, saying like, yeah. I hope Warner Brothers knows that the only reason I'm not seeing this movie is because Ezra Miller is playing the film. Well, and it's going to be the same thing for Amber Heard in Aquaman 2. How many yeah, people she's the reason. Aquaman 2 because of Amber Heard. And apparently she has 10 minutes screen time, but that doesn't matter. People aren't going to see But people know that she's in the movie because you didn't come out and take a stand against her. People will not see this movie. Exactly. Yeah, and I I get it. I'm I'm gonna see Aquaman because that's my boy. But I get it. Oh I my totally god! I well, know, like you... Black Manta is like one of my favorite villains ever. <laughs> I'm gonna see this movie, but I get that I'm the only one seeing it, and I understand. I'm not gonna defend that. Maybe you know, I'll watch it. You know how <laughs> like you. most movies have one or two writers, maybe three. Yeah, this movie apparently, according to Deadline, has had at different points forty five writers altogether. I mean, that would that explain have, the scrambled fucking that have worked of on drafts of Yo, this movie. TV shows like full on, like yeah, have four like twenty TV show. No, they have like ten. <laughs> yeah. Um. Why are you hiring yeah. that many 45. for like a two hour twenty minute movie? Like for a movie that it felt like a robot wrote anyway. Yeah, you know, it's the first AI movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's fucking bullshit. It's fucking movie. <laughs> the yeah, you, you haven't given your final, started. Final I, I originally four. gave it a four out of ten. I I wanted to be a little optimistic. I thought, you know what? Oh I, my I, god! I, 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 Sorry, I just the principal photography started filming on April nineteenth, twenty twenty one, under the working title "Baby Shower." Wow, uh, they were so course. proud of that that they called the mo- the working so, so, title of this movie was Baby Shower. My, my, my original ranking was a 4 out of 10, but oh after God. talking about this movie more and more, after digesting it for two weeks now, basically, I, I just... And, and having to watch Across the Spider-Verse and this more or less back-to-back, I, I honestly think I'm like in the 2 to 3 range. I, it yeah. really hurts my soul that this movie was bad. But it's bad. Yeah, Harper originally gave that, it three as well. So I think like like I, I always talk about like the rewatchability of a movie. Like, you know, that that's <laughs> something that factors into like what I what I rewatch it factors into my rating. Like into the Spider-Verse, I've seen a bunch of times. Across the Spider-Verse, I will see again, like when it's on streaming. I don't know that I'll watch the flash in in, in its entirety again. Yeah. You know, could I pull up a scene from YouTube? I guess, but I don't think I'd ever watch it in its full entirety again. Yeah, especially with that not yeah. even matter anymore because the universe is done. I can't believe that's how you who close. Who the fuck is this people. guy? Yeah, I don't think I, I can't see myself ever watching it again as well. Like in in its full like two hours forty minutes when you or two hours thirty minutes. I'm not gonna like sit is. down and do it. Yeah, right. Would you show it to your family on Christmas Day, <laughs> promising them that it's gonna be a great DC movie? Yeah, you do that too. I know. I watched it by myself, and I was disappointed on Christmas. Okay, yeah. He, this is a reference is... to Wonder Woman 1984 dropping on Christmas, and Hunter showing his entire family oh. being like, "No, Wonder Woman's one of the good ones." And then yeah, his like, was like Wonder Woman's hey, a Hunter. great movie. This is the sequel. Let's all sit and, down and, and, and watch it. And then Hunter's family was like, "We don't like you anymore." Yeah, right off the bat, they <laughs> said that out. as soon as the mole scene happens. Get out! <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Yeah, and then my I'm just reading <laughs> about like you know the release, the reception, this movie opening weekend 66 million dollars which you know a lot of the issue of, of these movies today is that the budgets are so overinflated that like this movie i mean realistically this movie has probably cost them half a billion dollars maybe, maybe just over more. the over, over just the course over of 10, 10 years, years of hiring writers Think about hiring, every director you've had to yeah. pay how long has yeah. been on fucking payroll yeah, exactly. And as the Iris on payroll, yeah. like and then we're actors. and then we're not even talking about the marketing to this movie, which we've already you know implied was unbelievable, just ridiculous shit that they did for marketing of this movie. Apparently, I don't know the NBA playoffs or something. They 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 played like an entire trailer, which argue not arguably, apparently allegedly cost them like thirteen million dollars or something like that to do. I I I guarantee you they paid. 
there's no way Tom Cruise liked this. The like, they definitely yeah. paid, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah the influencers and all that. Tom Cruise oh, no. and Stephen uh, King. Stephen King. Stephen King. Why those guys? If you said, like, you had, like, an action star, like, like maybe, like, a superstar, if you had, like, oh, Chris Hemsworth Yaha yeah, yeah, was like, man, this movie was hot. Yeah, right. exactly. Okay. I mean, he's, you know, yeah. understandable. Yeah, like, these are Marvel and DC actors, but a novel author and the guy who makes real stunts on yeah. real locations that travels the world for his movies. Really? Yeah. And that was exactly it. It's like there was an, uh, an article that said, like, you know, the issue with the marketing to this is that, like, y- the studio can't tell you that their movie is good. It The, the quote was like, you know, the I just said it. Studio can't tell you this movie is good. Your friends have to tell you the movie is good. Right. That's how you <laughs> sell a movie. And it was just it was just James Gunn being like, this is the best movie ever. And then Tom Cruise said it was the best movie ever. And David Zaslov, who I would never trust his opinion on anything anyway, said it was the best movie ever. And it was this. And then Hunter Murray said it was the best movie ever. No, I, this is the one movie that I'm <laughs> saying no to. I actually know this Ant-Man and, and this. Yeah. And I guess it's just M2A called boring. But Guardians 3 is awesome. GDA, yeah, have you seen so, is, so is Spider-Man. I still haven't watched Guardians 3. Guardians is it 3 on awesome. Disney Plus now? Maybe? No. <laughs> it's still in theaters. Yeah. Is it really? Holy shit. Yeah. yeah. Life's been a Very good. Um, but yeah, gosh, dude. That, that's that's our thoughts. I guess real quick, Um, this this episode's very late, of course, of A Hero Story. Uh, we've all been busy guys, but we should be back on schedule starting next week, hopefully. And we may have a very special surprise coming up, which some of you have wanted for a while. I don't even know what he's referring oh, to. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Really? The one thing we just talked about recording in a few days. Oh. No, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is what we just talked about this before recording. Good God. I, yes. thought you were about, I thought you were implying something else. I was like, oh, really? We have no, something I, I special. Wish I had, oh, what's I wish this? I had, yeah. yeah, I guess I guess stay tuned. But, yeah, uh, there were comics this week. There were news and everything. But, like I said, we've all been extremely busy as soon as this movie came out. We all saw it on different days completely. Because of just the time 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 zones with Harper and uh, just trying to get a schedule out. We almost didn't do this. Um, we do have a lot of comics this week, but like I yeah. haven't even read them yet. JD hasn't gotten his yet at all. I haven't all. even been to the shop. Yeah. So we're we're just doing a maybe, flash review. Maybe, maybe next week, week we'll cover them, you know. With, with, yeah, I'll have yeah I definitely want to talk about like Nightwing uh, with the POV. the POV issue. Yeah, so this, this whole week's just been, this whole past two weeks have been so busy for all of us Crazy. and like yeah we, even, we always record thursdays but it's not even thursday right now that we're recording this so it's wednesday yeah we, we so just weird just because this was the only possible day where we could at least get three of us together <laughs> <laughs> like harper's he's not even here because there's no possible way to get any of us because australia doesn't have internet that yeah. too yeah I ignore how we got i didn't even know messages. they had service in australia i had to go to australia and get that voice <laughs> message myself and then come back here. yeah <laughs> he threw it it's on a long right. day it for you a, it was on a video recording it's been so long yeah but yeah so yeah thanks for listening um and then just for me if anyone's in alberta which i know some of you are i am at i am a guest at game con in calgary for the next four days you're so, a guest yes they invited a, you I, I yes they did so, so oh, wow. if you see this Hello. man keep your children away from him look yeah i was gonna say if you see this man turn around and walk I, had the a, other way. I had a listener approach me in calgary <laughs> when i was at calgary comic-con two years ago and it was an awkward experience but i loved it so much so, <laughs> <laughs> so you so you want the same thing <laughs> i want the same thing but i'll be more confident the first thing i said is jd's not with me <laughs> wait what'd you say he's just like are you hunter from a hero story I'm like yeah he's just like oh i listen to your podcast all the time like i love you guys i love you and jd i'm like jd's not with me <laughs> jd's not here <laughs> yeah. i'm like it's just me here jd's the he doesn't live in canada <laughs> yeah. yes because i often get confused for a i think i was just so shocked that someone recognized me in public all right if, story, if you're at yeah. this if you're at this con and you Game see con. Hunter, try to make it as awkward as possible yes please yes, please, please. Yeah, just hover around me and keep like looking up clearly videos on your phone and like comparing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> slyly take a picture, but like like really yeah. obvious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And and then uh, make and sure then you send it to like... him and be like, "Is this you?" Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> send it to me in like a month. <laughs> yeah, I think I saw you like a month ago. Exactly. Does, yeah. does he know with like a red circle and a question mark? Follow and, him yeah. home. 
Yeah, Whoa, Do, uh, put his uh, dog out of its bu- misery. <laughs> bu- buy all his spider punk stickers and label his car yeah. with every single sticker. God, that is it's selling like crazy. So please do. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we'll be back next week. Hopefully, we'll see. And maybe before next week, which is still next week. But yeah, thank you. <laughs> Everybody, awkward Barry laugh on three. One, two, three. Uh, uh,